to add text in Final Cut Pro X, there is one simple way. Uh, if you want to do a simple text, uh, you go at the beginning where you want to add your famous text and you will do Control T for text. That will create a basic title. So if you click on it, you can just go on the title, double click here, and you will find in the window just right here, you see there is the T, this is the parameters for the text, but this one is a basic title, so you can't do nothing on it. Um, right here, you can change your title. So if I want to say text, uh, you can change the typo, you can choose the what you want. So let's go for that one. Just for the example, you can choose the size. And if you click just right here, you can move it where you want. Um, you can, uh, depending on the type of text, uh, you may be changed for bold or uh, italic or those kind of thing. Uh, there is line spacing, so that means if you have something written under it, like that. So if you select your text and you go with the line spacing, that will make it move closer. Uh, tracking, uh, it's the distance between every letters. The baseline is uh, you see that line that's the baseline so that's the position to the baseline yeah, you can play with the position right here too you can play with the rotation um, you can play with the scale or with the overall scale uh, you can also add some things over here. Uh, if we go in face, you can change the color of the text. You go as you want. Uh, you can change the opacity, of course. You can add a blur effect. Uh, you can also, let's say the text is white. And in the sky so I don't see it too much and I want to add an outline so you just activate this option and like that upgrade the width you can create well an outline so you pick another color and you can see everything in any type of color You can also have a glow if you'd like or a drop shadow. So if you don't want uh, an outline or and you just want a drop shadow, well, activate the drop shadow. And if you double click on it, you will have all of its option. I personally like to set the distance at zero and enhance the uh, blur effect like that. And the opacity maybe. Yeah, so that's your title. Uh, from here, you can move the title where you want. Actually, since it's a basic title, it's just show up and move out. You can add a transition to it. So you can, any transition you have from here and just add it like that. So that will make a cross dissolve like the transition says. Otherwise, if you want something more special as a title, you can come in the upper left corner and you will find just right here all the title that you have uh, in Final Cut Pro. Uh, actually, as you can see in my computer, I may have more title than you have. That's title that I purchased from a lot of website. Um, but in yours, you may have... Uh, well, basic 3D title, cinematic 360 background. No, you don't have this one. Um, hmm. Build and build out. You have a lot of titles in here. So if you want to do something like that, 
or this one. You see, they do some special stuff. Well, you, you just take it, you drag it, and you have your title. Now, if you want to do some modification on it, uh, you just go in uh, the settings as before. So I click on it. Uh, you see there is the option to, let's move it here. Uh, they, there is a built-in. And let's say I want to that the title just disappear when I switch the shot and not go fade out as it did at the end. I can remove the build out. That way it will stay up to the end. Boom. And we change the shot. Um, uh, yeah, you, you just you just play with, with the, the parameters over here. Uh, again, you can change the scale and it's pretty, mu pretty much the same thing as the other one. So yeah, find the title you want, put it on your project and you're done. So this is it. Thank you for watching. I hope it helps. If yes, please make a thumbs up. If you have any questions, please ask in the comment below. I may simply answer you or even maybe make a video just for you. So don't forget to subscribe and what you do see back there it's from my main channel so please come take a look at this right there thank you for watching again see ya <laughs>